Throughout most video games, players will encounter numerous characters on their adventures. And although many video game companions will become recruitable after completing a specific quest, there are others out there which players may not realize they can even get to join them. I'm Jess from World Culture, and here are 10 video game characters you had one chance to get. Number 10, Shadow, Final Fantasy VI. Often considered to be one of the greatest video games ever made, Final Fantasy VI, initially released as Final Fantasy III in the US, took players on an epic RPG adventure in which they set out to defeat the ruthless Kafka. Along the way, players will spend dozens of hours getting to know the cast of memorable party members who they'll fight alongside. One of these companions is Shadow. Always accompanied by his loyal dog Interceptor, Shadow is a mysterious ninja who occasionally swoops in to help the party throughout the game. It's possible to have this fan favorite favorite character joined the rest of the team during the final showdown. However, players only have one opportunity to get him. After Kefka unleashes cataclysmic destruction on the floating continent, players must race back to their airship to escape while an on-screen countdown ticks down to their imminent annihilation. Players are then given the choice to jump to the ship or wait for Shadow. If players buckle under the pressure and jump, they'll lose Shadow forever. To save him, you need to wait until the last possible second for him to arrive before leaving together. It's an intense moment, and seeing Shadow join the final fight is more than worth the anxiety. Number 9. Adoring Fan, Starfield being an RPG from Bethesda, Starfield is brimming with countless characters to meet and befriend while exploring the vast reaches of the universe. Whether it's main companions like the diligent Sarah Morgan and the kind-hearted Sam Coe, or those like Amelia Earhart who can be found during the player's travels, there are plenty of fellow adventurers to get to know throughout the game. However, one character that some players won't encounter while traversing the cosmos is the adoring fan. A reference to a similarly irritating character from The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, this annoyingly enthusiastic follower will be thrilled to be in the protagonist's presence and shower them with praise at every opportunity. The only way that players will be able to get the adoring fan on their crew, however, is to have selected the hero worship trait during character creation. With players only able to select a total of three traits, it's possible that many adventurers opted for more useful sounding options when beginning their adventure and would have consequently not met this excitable admirer. Although the adoring fan isn't the most skilled crewmate to have accompany players on their grand sci-fi odyssey, it's always handy to have someone to carry extra weapons and loot around. Number 8. Kira Metz, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt from its gripping narrative to its epic soundtrack, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is a phenomenal game for many reasons. However, it's this game's ensemble of cherished characters which make Geralt's adventure more memorable. As the plot progresses, the eponymous monster hunter will be tasked with rounding up his friends to help defend Kaer Morhen from the Wild Hunt. While some characters will aid Geralt in his fight no matter what, others will require more certain conditions to be met before they'll join the battle, with Mage Kira Metz being one such character. Met early in the game while searching Velen for Ciri's whereabouts, Kira enlists Geralt's services in procuring a magic lamp. Not only do players need to complete her entire questline before they're able to ask for her assistance, but they also need to make the correct dialogue choices when they're concluding the quest, The Advancement of Learning. Choose the right options and Kira will leave for Kaer Morhen, where she'll later assist in the fight. If players fail to convince her, and it's a tricky little persuasion to get right, they'll either be forced to fight her or witness a gruesome execution if she goes to Radovid. Not only does Kira's presence during this pivotal battle guarantee Lambert's survival, but uniting the whole gang only makes the sequence more epic. Number 7. Solaire, Dark Souls no matter how bleak and brutally difficult Dark Souls can get, players don't need to face the decaying world of Lordran and its nightmarish collection of enemies alone. In addition to summoning other players to assist during boss fights or get through tough areas, players can likewise get help from NPC characters during specific fights. One of these characters is the glorious Solaire of Astora. First encountered admiring the sunlight in the undead berg, Solaire becomes one of the few friendly faces in the game, and it'll help with some of the trickier boss fights. If players progress too far in their adventure though, without completing certain steps in his questline, he'll be gone for good and consequently won't be able to join in the final boss fight. Before chatting to a now distraught Solaire in the Demon Ruins, players must have first joined the Chaos Servant Covenant and donated 30 humanity. This opens a shortcut in the Demon Ruins that contains Sunlight Maggots. 
Players must kill the one bug with glowing eyes before they reach Lost Isolith, otherwise Soler will become corrupted by the bug and turn hostile. With Soler saved, he can now accompany players in the final fight where he'll fulfill his own quest. Number 6. Goro Takamura, Cyberpunk 2077 after being left for dead in a landfill at the start of Cyberpunk 2077, protagonist V is rescued by Goro Takamura. The recently disgraced bodyguard of murdered corpo powerhouse Saburo Arasaka, Takamura has a mutual interest in helping V so he can seek revenge on Saburo's killer. Although the pair form a reluctant alliance at first, a strong friendship develops between them as they work together to get an audience with Hanako Arasaka to tell her the truth about what happened to her father. Later when Hanako is back at Takamura's apartment safe house, the friends are ambushed by Arasaka's forces during the mission Search and Destroy. The floor collapses and V and Takamura are separated. At this point, players are given the sole objective to escape the building, with Johnny appearing to hastening their exit. While players are led to believe that Takamura has been killed in the attack, it is possible to save him. Veer off the path at this point in the mission and players can find a path that leads back to where he's fighting a group of enemies. Not only is this a hidden choice that players might not even realize they have, but saving Takamura likewise offers better choices during the final mission. Number 5. Aramis Stilton, Dishonored 2 out of Dishonored 2's collection of intricate and enthralling missions, one of the most unique is a crack in the slab. This mission tasks players with infiltrating the manor of one Aramis Stilton, in the hope of uncovering secrets about a mysterious ritual that was previously performed there by main antagonist Delilah. Alongside developer Arcane Studios' masterful level design and excellent stealth mechanics, what makes this level especially noteworthy was that it gave players access to a device which lets them jump between the past and the present. As as players explore the manor, they'll eventually witness the events that turn Stilton into the rambling madman he becomes in the present day. However, if players manage to find and incapacitate him in the past, he'll no longer be present for the ritual, which will continue without him. With Stilton saved from his fate, returning to the present day will reveal that the manor and surrounding area have no longer fallen into ruin. Moreover, Stilton will have kept his sanity and joined players on their ship as an ally. He'll even unveil his secret path to the Duke's vault as a reward. It's hidden details like this that make the Dishonored series so good. Number 4. Donal, Fire Emblem Awakening The first Fire Emblem game to be released on the 3DS, Fire Emblem Awakening sees the player aid Krom and his followers as they defend the kingdom of Elis from both an army of undead invaders and the hostile nation of Plagia. Along the way, players can recruit a whopping 49 characters to join them in their fight, with one of them being Donal. A youngster who sports a pot on their head as a makeshift helmet, this peasant's stats are as low as their appearance suggests. While players will have already recruited far more powerful companions by the time they meet him, Donald is nevertheless worth having joined the team. But enlisting him isn't easy. For Donald to become recruitable, not only does he need to survive the bandit attack during the chapter he's encountered, but he also needs to level up at least once during the fight. Given his exceedingly low stats at this point, achieving both goals is exceedingly difficult. If players succeed in this mighty challenge, their efforts are massively rewarded. Thanks to his incredibly high stat growth, it doesn't take long for this pot-wearing peasant to become one of the most powerful additions to any team. Number 3. Magus – Chrono Trigger Helmed by the creative minds behind Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest, and Dragon Ball Z, JRPG classic Chrono Trigger is often regarded as one of the greatest RPGs ever made. In it, players take control of a group of adventurers who travel between time periods in a bid to stop an alien creature known as Lavos from destroying the world in the future. During the party's quest, they'll encounter Magus, or Magus if you prefer. A dark sorcerer who wields an imposing scythe, this character is the one who turned Frog into an anthropomorphic amphibian, and is believed to be the one responsible for introducing Lavos to the world. Later in the game, players will encounter the powerful mage as he attempts to summon the creature using a spell. With his battle music already playing, players will be ready for what the game is setting up to be an epic showdown. And when players are given the choice to either fight or walk away, they'd expect the game wants them to fight the villain. However, if players walk away from the fight instead, they'll be able to recruit Magus. Not only is he a powerful asset in any fight, but having Magus on board has a massive impact on the already fantastic plot. Number 2. Zevran, Dragon Age Origins 
Coming from the same studio behind Mass Effect and Knights of the Old Republic, Dragon Age Origins is likewise full of everything that made Bioware's RPGs so extraordinary. What made this exhilarating fantasy adventure even better was the group of memorable characters who joined players on their quest. Alongside becoming acquainted with fan favorite companions Alastair Morrigan and Leliana, players can also befriend a sarcastic elven rogue named Zevrin. Unlike the other party members players will come across, Zevrin is hostile when he makes his first appearance. Sent in as an assassin, he'll ambush and attack the player randomly while exploring the world. A fight breaks out with the assailant being rendered unconscious at the end. Players must then decide to either wake him up for questioning or kill him. Given that the elf looks to be just another enemy to fight, many wouldn't think twice about killing him, but that'd be a mistake. If you decide to spare him, Zevran can join the rest of the party where he'll become a valued member of the team. This is why it's always better to ask questions first and get to the murder and later. Number 1. Dog, Arcanum of Steamworks and Magic Obscura. Faithful, loyal, and utterly adorable, dogs make as wonderful companions in games as they do in real life. Whether it's the helpful Bullet in Blair Witch, the lovable Brown in Rule of Rose, or D-Dog from Metal Gear Solid 5, there are plenty of delightful dogs for players to fall in love with. One of the most recognizable video game canines though is Dog Meat from the Fallout series. This good boy has been so popular they've even made cameos in other games, with Arcanum of Steamworks and Magic Obscura being one of them. Known as simply Dog in this game, players can find him near the inn in the town of Ashbury, where he's being kicked to death by a cruel gnome. Players can recruit the animal if they manage to save him from the abuser, however players have only a small window to do so. With only one hour of in-game time to rescue the dog after first entering the town, players will need to move fast if they want to get there in time. Fail to beat the time limit and the innocent animal will die. Alongside losing a great companion, players will also have to live with the knowledge that they were kind of responsible for the dog's death. And on that super happy note, those are all the characters you had one chance to get. Let us know if you got them.